Assalamualaikum guys, we're back here for the post show. It's myself, Samad, and Abdul Wahab. Mm -hmm. And without further ado, we'll get into the post draft uh, analysis. So we were just discussing kind of before we, we came to the video, which team do we think has is kind of like the number one team that stands out? And to me, the team that stands out is Team Subur, which is led by Shaka Khan and Mohamed Bilal. I think that team won the championship last year. The fact that they're both GMing again, and they get the pick. Razi as their first pick. And Shariar Khan as their 12th, like, second pick. I think that was just sort of like the, the groundbreaker uh, for me, in my personal opinion, uh, as the number one team. What are your thoughts on the first on your team that you would pick first? Um, yeah, that's, that's a good team. Uh... Yeah, I would have. I may have to. I like the team beside them as well. I like the team beside them. I think that's a pretty decent team. There's a teams with the teams that have the Malton players. I don't know too much about. And the team that you think is beside them is team. Uh, team uh, Medina, not Medina. Team so Yakin. Team Yakin. Our, is... Yeah, so you have Fahad Mohammed. Right. He's. I think. Right now, unless there is some like really good Malton goalie that we don't know about. Right. You have to say he's. Yeah, number one, the uh, class number of the one team, right? Yeah. Maz, I'm a huge fan of. His game stepped up. He grew a couple of inches. He grew again. Yeah, he grew a couple of inches again. Uh, Salam Cup was yeah. on the winning team. Right, that's right. So right? he's that's he's very confident coming off of that. Right. Then you have uh, our Vijay is good. Sani. Some people saying he was underrated on at that point. Yes. Even at eleven, they said it felt, felt he was you, underrated. You know what's interesting is Farouk Sani. Yeah. Most people would have ignored him at that first, second, third, fourth, fifth pick because yeah. they don't know his game too well. When I did the pre-draft, I said Farouk Sani is a top ten pick. He's gonna go somewhere in there. He that's did. Right. Well, he did go eleventh. That's kind of where Fahad and Maz have seen his game. They also play together on Wednesdays along with yourself. So I think that's where uh, there was familiarity. They needed to stabilize their their second line center position, and they, they didn't waste any time trying to get Farouk Sani. He could play a first line center as well. He could, yeah. He could so, put him anywhere. Right. Really. And, and I so I think that's where they struggle. I I would put. Like I said, a second team that I picked, I think, that to me stood out mm -hmm. uh, was Saman Khan and Bakar Khan. Uh, even though I'm playing in that team, but just a neutral view is that yeah. if you look at the four defensemen they have, Luqman Arshad, Saman, then you get Adil Avan, and you get um, uh, Sadat Malik. That to me is our star studded four defensemen. You know, like Sadat's a shutdown guy. Luqman and Saman can both move the ball up, back and forth. And Adil Oman, same as well. Like He's coming off injury, but if he's fit, uh, this lights out. So And they've got good goalie, Yusuf Kapoor, in that as well. So from a defense perspective, I think they have the best defensive team. And, you know, Wakar's being center, playing center position. He's going to have guys like Sufyan, Yasin, Admani, Irfan Banapatel, Ali Malik. Saman Ali will be the second-line center. That team looks pretty explosive to me from a defense perspective. Not necessarily from an offense perspective. They're not going to be matched the same as... Uh, summer team, which is Shaka and Bamad Bala, but I thought they stood out. The third team that I think is really standing out is Haris Malik and Mehmet's team, Ikhlas. I think they did. Uh, they had a very good pick, and they did the right pick by picking Imad Khwaja as the number one consensus overall pick. If you look at the pre-draft, I said to them, I said in the pre-draft, Shaka Khan was the first pick, and second pick was probably going to be Imad, and Imad is now the center first pick because he became the first uh, pick. Yeah. moved out, right? So, what do you think of the of them picking Imad instead of Zuhair? Because Zuhair, Zuhair, because we heard, and oh, oh, no, he was not only he was the third pick actually. There was, yeah. What uh, do you think of that? What, what did you feel about that? That them dropping? You know, I think when they, they looked at the team, they looked at, at Harris and Mamet. They they knew that Zuhair was an explosive defenseman mm -hmm. who can score a lot of power play. They also wanted somebody who could run back and forth. And I figured that Imad kind of just being like that, that you know, that horse that the he horse. could go back and forth. Uh, and I think they were looking for a left side shooter as opposed to a right side shooter. Although I think uh, he fell well in Yasser and Mazur's hands. Um, but kind of just finishing my thought on, on this team, they got Hani Suleiman as a 22nd pick, which I think is a bargain. Like he, he could score, he could put the ball in there. Farouk Khan, Green Army Farouk Khan is 15. They got a good backhand defenseman. Zayed punched by uh, Azar. RF Khan, Ibrahim Khan, Abdul Wahab, yourself, mm -hmm. you got picked at 76. Tells you about the, how deep this team can yeah. run, right? So I think if you're looking at first line, second line, third line combination, 
that team stands out to me. All three balanced lines. They're going to be able to put pressure on the third line of other teams. How about uh, D on this team? D on the team, I, I have obviously uh, mm. Farouk Khan as, my, as the leading de- defenseman. Right. After that, it gets a bit thin. Harris is going to play first line minutes uh, as a defenseman. Mm. Uh, Imad will have to either move back or move up. Depending, he, he does both, right? He does so, both, does he? I didn't know that. Yeah, he does okay. both. Uh, Naim Ali is... I play D2, so they, this possibly they're looking at me as right. a D-man too. Um, so that's where I think it gets a bit you right. know, flashy, like less flashy. The third, second line will have to step up. Or already they're they're standing out, right? But but this is where I say like uh, I, that's why I chose them as a third best team. Oh, Harris is a demon. Yeah, Harris is a demon. Harris too. defense, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The fourth team I think, uh, in my opinion, stands out is the Manjra Abdul Manjra and Mohammad Kazi's team. They obviously picked all the Ingars and all the Panjabayas that you can think of. Right. From team Malton. This is the team Malton. Um. So I think um, chemistry. This is this is a team that's not going for just winning. They want to have team chemistry. They want to have fun. They want to enjoy. So I like that. I like that motive. Uh, a team that I thought uh, could have drafted slightly better were was uh, Mazar, Mazar Hossain and uh, and Yasser Habib's team. Why do I say that? I think they have a lot of talented guys who could put the ball in the mm-hmm. net, but they don't have a lot of quick runners. I mean, you got you have a star star defenseman like Zubair, but who's going to be pairing with him? And who's going to be your second pair when you when you're facing quicker teams? That's where you're going to have challenges. Mm. I still think that they're going to have somebody in play here. There are a lot of elite shooters, not a lot of whole elite runners. You need sometimes a bit of balance. Right. So I think this is a team that could improve. So if they're going to put up Zubair for sale or Zubair up, who are they going to look to get back? Um, Zubair Tanla was another, but you know you, you need a guy like maybe Razi or or Farouk Khan type to come back. But you know let's see how this plays out. This is this is how maybe, this is how maybe they may start off, but I still think they're going to make a trade. The fifth team, I think, uh, you know, after you go through that, sorry, this is not my fourth ranked team, but I, 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 like I said, this was a team I thought could rank. Fourth ranked team, I would probably put as Fahad and Maz. I think you have them as second. I have them as fourth, uh, and then fifth team, I think, are is Arslan behind Hamza Chaudhry. Uh, I think their team is is also loaded. They themselves are good. Farouk Khan, elite, bona fide defenseman. Um, don't know much about Sufyan Kazi, but that's where Arslan and Hamza know him. Saj Bayad, another solid uh, second line center. Uh, they, again, they got Kashiv Zahir, the veterans in the back. Uh, Atif Mia, an interesting pick. He's uh, slightly injured, um, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But again, solid, solid, quick team. This is a quick team. They're going to give trouble to other teams. Teams that I'm not so f- sure, you know, how they're going to shape up is, uh, is, sorry, the Takwa team, Takwa, which is Hamza Ali and Daoud. They pick guys who might not show up every game. Ibrahim Hindi is always, uh, like, you picked Ibrahim Hindi early up at 27th. I think... Yeah, I that, you know if he doesn't show up for four or five games, a lot I of know pers- he's been a good player for many years, oh, yeah. but yeah, he's gonna have to really show that he's back to that player. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Hamza will send us up a bear, a lot of lot of you know minutes up front with Hamudi, and, and you know asking those two guys to play big minutes against some of the quicker runners in the in the in the league. That's yeah. a lot of that's a that's a tough assignment. A lot of question marks here. You're saying like Sakib Coker, what do you? I, I like I love soccer Cooper. I but feel he's a bit of a question. Like it, there's an enigma I, 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 there. There's I, 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 more there that that could be. If he's playing with. first line minutes, right? Against some of the other. If you see the first line of other guys, is Sakib in my in my opinion should be playing second line minutes. But mm-hmm. the way this is looking like, you got Josefa Panjbaya, you got Daud and Hamza Ali. That's probably your first good first line. Riaz is gonna play in the back end, but who's gonna play with the Riaz? It's gonna be Hamoudi, or, yeah. or, or or are we gonna drop somebody from like maybe Osama Rao? Right. Uh, but Osama Rao is probably a second third pair, not a first pair. So that's why I think this this team uh, is probably going to make some. They're probably going to put in some guys for sale, just to kind of balance the team out. Right. And then the other team that I thought could have. Have you, have you gone over uh, Josefa's team? What do you feel about Josefa's team? Uh, he just uh, well, Bessa, yeah, talking Jose- to him. It, you know, it looks like he definitely had a plan of what he wanted to do, and he executed. I left three picks from Josefa's team. Yeah. One is Akim Malik, the other is Ajmal Asmatiar, and third is Hanif Kasuji. Another sleeper pick. He said he knows it, it was really good. Is Tayyip Khan. That's what that's, that's what he's right. that's yeah, he's saying. Tayyab yeah, is, is, is a man at play here, um, but who's on the back end? I don't see much other than himself and Naim. If Naim and Az- Faraz Alvi, I think. What do you think of the Faraz Alvi pick? Great shot, but can't move. So do you feel that was he's he got drafted where where, where he? I think he got drafted where he was. As he, long as he's not he, playing top two, pe- like Faraz Alvi is not twenty years old anymore, right? Yeah, he's yeah. a bona fide good, great defenseman can shoot. But if you're playing Faraz Alvi as your top pairing defenseman, he will get burnt. 
Mm. And, and I'm not saying nothing against Faraz Ali. Faraz Ali, like I said, is an elite shooter. Yeah. He can put the ball in the net, but he's not the quickest runner. And so that's where things will come in play. I think they do have a good defenseman. He's kind of, he went down, is Omar Dean. Mm-hmm. I think I played against, uh, with Omar Dean a couple oh, of, many second years last ago. Second round. Second round. How did, how, how did that happen? It just, really? so maybe got oversight. The guys probably missed time, missed out. Dr. Faraz Siddiqui, again, defenseman in a smaller rink will be handy. Right. Um, so I think, depends on where Josefa and Naim play. If Josefa and Naim are playing back, well, who's the offense? Anif Kasuji, Tayyip will have to lead. And then Akib will have to play big minutes too. So this is a bit of wild card. I can't say much about this team yet. But Josefa obviously knew what he was doing. So guys like Hanif, Tayyip, Akib will have to play a key role. These are the three picks I really like. Right. The rest of the picks, sort of iffy. But again, uh, maybe this is what they wanted to do. So with that being said, like I said, this is kind of how I see the, 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 the draft shaping up. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think there's... You know, uh, it's been like 10 minutes and like yeah. I feel like we can still talk about Oh, this. yeah, exactly. Very interesting draft. A lot of question marks. A lot of new players into the league. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, when you see just, a guy like Arif Multani yeah. get drafted 83rd, that's a pretty bargain pick. Uh, 83rd is available. Again, maybe... Storylines. Availability story might not be the same. Storylines, yeah. It's, so uh, what do you it's, think? Can, can you give me... We have uh, just a couple minutes here. Uh, maybe your top storylines for, for this uh, year. This was an offense-heavy draft, yeah. And most teams went for offense, except for one team that went for defense first, which was Saman Kali Bukhar. Mm-hmm. They went for defense first. They loaded the defense. On the other hand, Shakat Khan Mahmudla loaded the offense. I see those two teams are actually in the same division. This is going to be the division of the death: Salman Khalid uh, versus Shakat Khan, and also Imad Khwaja, mm-hmm. uh, all in the same division. That's the division of death. Offense first draft. Uh, defense was not such a priority for certain teams, but that's that's where it came out. The, the, the one storyline I like, team chemistry and brotherhood with, with the team Malton, with Abdul Manjra right. picking up most of the, his friends. Uh, so I think this draft is going to be remembered more for brotherhood and for uh, the offense as opposed to trying to get a championship and go for that. So with that being said, I would you know I would say good draft. We all had fun and inshallah, inshallah. Uh, you know looking forward to uh, the season. All right, guys.